Hello and welcome. This is Jacob with Geeks First. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through something that I have discovered today that uh, may or may not really hurt in the long run, especially for collectors and for players. So the very much anticipated farewell to Welcome to Wraith event that is coming up here uh, January 28th to the 30th, and today is January 4th. Uh, 2022. So we're we're about three weeks ish away, I think is the right uh, number there. Yeah, basically about three weeks away. And what I'm discovering is that there is a slight scarcity to these, and I'm sure there is some purpose to this. But uh, let me let me math for you here. So there's four heroes. And each store is going to get uh, 16 per event and one per store. So basically, that means, if I understand correctly, there are going to be 16 foil promos, so four of each hero, sent to each of the gem stores, limit one per store, one event per store. So in order to get all four, you really need to go to four stores and play four farewell events, if you can even get in. Right now, actually, uh, within 100 miles, every single store uh, is basically sold out 25 days in advance. Um, waiting to hear back from, from this one here, but I, I cannot find anywhere that says that they are available. Um, so here is the, the problem. If you take this list, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And you'll see that there's a number at the bottom where it says go to next. Well, if you do a little bit of hackery here and you go up to the URL and change this to page 999, you're going to quickly end up at the very end, which is actually page 47. Now, page 46 is the last full page of 15. And then on this page, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if we do 47 pages times 15, you have... 705 but that's actually wrong so we have 40 oops we have 46 pages times 15 you're at 690 and then on this one here you have one two three four five stores so 695 and uh for sake of possible argument we will go ahead and just round this number to 700 which you know in in the the case of this is not going to change very much but now each store gets a total of 16 total cards. Now, if I kept it true at 695 times 16, you'll notice that it's just a hair shorter at 11,120. Now, we know that based on this document here, there are four heroes. So because there are four heroes, you can take this number and divide it by four. This should be the population count. So basically, if we were to say 2,780, or if we were to go back to that 700 number and multiply that by 16 and then divide it by 4, you're talking 2,800, which again is only a swing of a population of 20, 4 per store, uh, <clears throat> which basically makes this, if I understand correctly, about as rare um, as an alpha heart. So if my math is correct, and we're going to do another part of this, if you have 400,000 boxes or packs, and you divide that by 24 packs in a box, you have 16,666 boxes. A fabled was one per whatever packs. I think it, it, people have kind of discovered um, if you if you think about it, most people have said it's one in uh, 40 boxes. So if you take uh, 96 packs and divide that by 24, majestic or legendary is one in every four. That's basically one per case. So if you take um, take the amount here, which is the packs divided by boxes, and we know that each of the boxes have four per case, 
you're talking 4,166 or so of the cases. Um, and then if we divide that by 40, I believe the average, I don't see how this is right because that doesn't seem right. Um, it's not 40 cases uh, so i need to hold on i need to multiply this by uh 40 and then divide this by it's it'd be 10 cases because 10 times 4 is 40. um supposedly there's 416. I, I i don't know if this is is correct but when you start looking at that and then you start looking at the uh majestics uh and legendary so if you go back to this 16 number here so clear if you take that and now you know that it's one every 96 packs so when we did that math a second ago we knew that 96 uh on the other calculator was um let's see here I'm trying to do this real time here so if we we knew that 96 divided by 4 means that one legendary oops it's uh, it's 96 divided by 24 one legendary per four uh booster boxes so if you take this amount of booster boxes and divide it by four there's 4100 cases so instead of fabled i guess i was incorrect this kind of becomes on par possibly with the status of a legendary from alpha and i don't know those prices off the top of my head but i'm sure they're not cheap and that's what scares me about these uh cold foil heroes because as a collector i really want these cards but i don't necessarily know why going to an event and going to a store giving you basically for twenty dollars or whatever you're gonna get a free let's just look up a random one here so uh welcome to wraith let's go and look at legendary uh, we're just going to look at a tunic. I don't even think there is any alpha cold foil. First edition cold foil. Oh, you're talking $5,000. Uh, so I, I don't see how the numbers can make that happen. But in my head, you're you're talking rarer, 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 rarer than a legendary from alpha and i certainly know that there are more than enough players that want one of each of these because if i'm going to play with any of them or even just to have i would like to have them so while there is a sufficient quantity that it's going to exist i can't believe that in a reality where you would go to a game store to play a game you're going to get one card that basically gives you five grand so my guess is it's going to be about three hundred dollars uh, a hero i'm really hoping that that's not going to be the case but at the same time everyone is looking at everything as if it's collectible and obviously you know this in my opinion is is awesome there's a token so you can get that for 10 cents you you know have the crucible of war reprint of some of these it's the single-sided um you know version you can even get that in foil um so those are awesome but this is a cold foil and cold foils traditionally are weighted heavier but i don't know where they're going to land so other than me traveling 11,100 and to so 11,112 miles to somewhere over in Australia. Hope you guys are doing good over there. Yeah, Fluken Fluken boxes down there. So I'd go to meet him. He seems like a pretty cool guy. But I don't know. It's the the numbers are are weird. The numbers are not in my favor. Not in my favor. So Hopefully, I'll be able to get a copy of one of each. Hopefully, you'll be able to get a copy of one of each. But uh, 
Yeah, once you start to dig into the numbers here, it uh, it makes me want to go ahead and basically travel to, I mean, the gas to travel around to stores within a 100-mile radius and literally play the event um, multiple times uh, just to, to get. But I think the problem is, is it, it must be, I think it has to be on a specific date range. So you'd have to find stores that you could geographically drive to within the two days. Um, meaning in a perfect world, let's say you could hit two or three stores a day, two stores a day, you at most would be able to do the 28th, 29th, and 30th. So maybe six, if you're really lucky, um, cause that's three. So two a day would be three, three or yeah, six total. And if you did three a day, you'd get nine, which means you could have two play sets. Maybe again, if you are exorbitantly lucky with, being able to find ones that are, are geographically located that do not have events on the same day. So anyways, that's my random thought for the moment. Hopefully this information finds you well. Uh, there'll be a lot more flesh and blood content coming up here soon. Um, if you're looking for singles, we are now selling uh, single cards on both Channel Fireball and our website. Um, I have about 20,000 uh, singles that I have purchased that we are inventorying and trying to get out there. So the description in the link below will give you some of that information. But otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button for more information. Hit that bell for notification as usual because, you know, that's what YouTube likes. Like, share, dislike, make a comment. Let me know your thoughts on what you think about how rare these things are actually going to be, whether this is a good thing for flesh and blood. I mean, this is this is kind of the closest to to Floop's serialized card uh, concept that, that's out there. You know, the ability to know that there's a general number of something, but not know that that something is going to be... Um, easy to get so there we go we'll end the video right here 10 53 a.m on january 4th 2022 until next time jacob out peace